Do not even try to put your foot in there. Oh, she's putting her clock. You're crazy! All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are back. We're here at Sandals Emerald Bay at the Bahamas, designed by Greg Norman himself. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to check it out. I'll put it down in the bio below. Now we're gonna start on hole four and we're gonna go through some course management by me. Holes four through six. Hole number four is a short par four, 251 over, it's actually not water, or probably it was water, but it's dried out now. It's actually quicksand, which is crazy. There's a bunch of little birds. They're not sinking in the quicksand, clearly because they're light as a feather. I would love to try and put my foot in there, but there's literally a danger sign that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Um, so anyways, this hole, you tee it up over the quicksand, it's short, and it's a pretty risky shot. You can either lay it back or go for it, but I'm gonna go for it. So, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. The driver is probably not the best course management decision to make, but it's kind of like YOLO and I should go for it. But I will say this is a very, very narrow target and the fairway is very narrow. It, the neck of the fairway narrows in probably only like 20 yards apart. And there's rocks to the right, quicksand on the left. I'll say if I'm gonna miss anywhere, right is safest, but we're gonna try and go a little left of the pin and probably cut it into the fairway. I might get I might get to the bunker if I hit it real good, so we'll see. Here we go. Oh god. Kick down, you can do it. <gasps> oh did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know. I, I could have bounced out. Alright, I think it's safe. So there's like a rock barrier over there and I heard it hit the rock and the odds of it kicking left are high, so I'm gonna go with that. Wow, this is unreal. Wild. Oh, so beautiful. All right, so my ball in fact did bounce back from the rocks as you can see here, which is kind of like a cool little feature. And I'm in the sand and I kind of have an awkward distance, but I think if I can get like a good 55 degree out there, I think people are afraid when they're in the bunker to use a bigger club, but it's really hard to take a 60 degree and swing harder. You'll just end up likely chunking it even more so. And uh, I think it's a lot easier to take a smaller swing, but a bigger club and just aim more left because you got to open the face even more with a bigger club. I will do bunker shots with eight irons even if it calls for it, if it's like a 40 yard shot, 50 yard shot, you know? So I'll grab a 55 degree and let's try and get it close. I think that was really good. Where's the rake? Okay. I don't think there's any rake on this course. What the? Wow, this sand is so soft, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, you guys, birdie opportunity here. Uphill putt, going into the grain. I'm not really seeing very much. There we go, <laughs> much better. All right, hole number five, second hole of this vlog. It's a par four and it is 430 yards, a bit longer. We have a dog leg left here, but a lot of fairway to work with so we can try and hit this drive straight and far. Here we go. All right, definitely a driver hole. Trouble on the left, a lot of room to the right. I'm gonna go for the left edge of that far center bunker. All right, so I want to tee it up on the right side because I feel like it gives me a good angle in. Left edge of that center bunker. Here we go. Oh, that worked out. All right, all right. So I got a 
five wood in hand. It's 209, 210, but the wind is helping. So I'm gonna try and throw it up in the air, let that wind take it, that extra like eight yards, and go from there. Right now my swing feels a little wonky, and I think the best thing to do if you feel like your swing is feeling really off, like it started good and you may have like had a bad shot and you need to find your way, always fall back into your, your setup and your routine because it's likely that your aiming is incorrect. So that's what I'm gonna try and do right now. Five wood, let's see it. actually really good oh I actually listened to my own advice you guys so that was nice I'm actually on the green and maybe like 25 30 feet away which is great from this long distance this is a very long par 4 uh, for for even like the LPGA tour so having a five wood in and getting on the green on the dance floor I'll take it see a dance you want to see my Bahamas dance here we go cue the music here we go That's all you're gonna see, okay? Check out my dancing on the gram. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. But uphill, sloping left to right, and for birdie. All right, not bad. Low side, you always wanna miss on the high side of every putt. You always want the ball moving towards the hole. That did not do that. All right. I'll take a par. Par on the long par four. One more hole to go. Alright, last hole of this vlog. It's a par three, hole number six. It's 132 playing 128, but the wind is like a plus 20. So I'm actually gonna knock down a seven iron and hopefully try and stick it close. It's a front pin, so it's gonna be a little tricky with this water. All right, it works. I can't have my hat be blown away. So the, wall, the, the wind stopped my ball like a wall, even though I clubbed up two clubs, but I threw it up too high, barely made it over. I have a 55 degree in hand. I'm gonna try and chip it close or chip it in, and one putt, and that'd be a great way to end. All right. I'm gonna be trying to land it just enough to get on the green, and I'm gonna let it run the rest of the way. Like right edge, right inside cup. <gasps> Woo! One time. What a save. I think I finish at one under for, for this vlog. Yeah, there you go. So not too bad. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for part two here at Sandals Emerald Bay, holes four through six and designed by Greg Norman himself, the shark. It's clear why the Corn Ferry Tour has a hard stop over here. The wind is vicious. The water takes your golf balls and there's quicksand here. So all those things combined, still absolutely beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now.